All right, back again today with a uh, with another video. Today we're going to be doing the uh, Deer Creek anchovy candy using these uh, Deer Creek foils that they make, and then uh, also uh, Crystal Flesh, uh, not to be confused with uh, Crystal Flash. Uh, this fly is going to be pretty similar to the uh, to the Silver Side Surf candy. This is just going to be more of a uh, this one's going to be a little bit. Uh, taller body and look more like an anchovy. So we got a uh, Gamagatsu SL12S10 in the hook. We got our Danville 140 denier thread. And we're just going to start a little bit behind the eye by just laying down a, uh, a base of thread. Uh, just a base of thread all the way back until about the uh, barb of the hook here. Uh, the first material we're going to get, we're going to get that crystal flesh in uh, this white color. You don't need a ton of it. You know, a nice little, a nice little chunk, but not a, not a ton because we're going to fold it over. So we'll cut out a good little chunk here. We will fold it over. Cut that in half. And then we're going to go out and pick out the ends. So we're going to start in the center and just kind of pick it out and get a little bit of a taper going to it. So I'll need too, too perfect of a taper. I mean, we're going to trim this at the end anyway. But it always helps to have a little taper going. So then we're going to fold it in half one more time, find that center, and we're going to do, put the center right here on the back of the hook. So we're going to try to get these fibers kind of going around the uh, shank of the hook. And then we're just going to get some thread wraps going forward all the way to about the hook point. Like so. And then we're just going to take this front section and fold it back over. I'm going to pull it tight a little bit. And then just lash that down here on the back. So. This is a pretty simple fly to tie. I mean, it, it looks like it would be difficult, but at the end of the day, it's it's really easy to do. Uh, we're going to start carrying these these anchovy patterns on the site along with doing kits on the site for these as well, just like we have with the uh, with the silver side version. So now we'll work our thread up to the front of the hook. Again, we'll stop just a little bit shy of the eye of the hook here. Now we're going to get our next color. I'm going to use this uh, orangey color that I call uh, redfish. It's got kind of that redfish copper orange color to it. And uh, we're going to get a little hank of this. Uh, probably about a third, maybe, maybe a third or fourth of the amount that we used uh, before with the white. You definitely don't need as much of the top color in whatever color combo that you're tying as you use with the bottom. I got a whole bunch getting caught in my bobbin here. So, well, we'll do the same thing. We'll fold it in half. And then we'll go ahead and we'll pick out and kind of taper each end. Um, this top color, you want to go ahead and taper a little bit more than you did to the to the bottom, just because you'll need a little bit more length on the uh, on the top. But overall, not too bad. So, and we'll tie it in a little behind the eye, wrap back on it. Kind of just make sure all those are locked down. And we'll fold this top piece back, put a couple wraps in front of it, and then we'll put two wraps here just kind of holding it down for a second. So now we can go ahead, we can get our, uh, our foils. These, like I said, these are the Deer Creek anchovy foils. Uh, they're really simple to use. They got little little tabs here on the front of them. You just kind of fold them back over the uh, fly. So we'll take 
two off here. This is the uh, this is the medium size that we're using on the 10. You could do a large size with a 40 or a smaller size with like a 20. Or uh, sorry, a uh, size two. So we're gonna get these little tabs right here on the front, and we're just gonna wrap them in right over the front here. Just try to keep them straight as we wrap them down, like such. All right, and then it's got this little tab here on the back. All we're gonna do with this one, because this tab's a little thicker, is just go ahead and cut that tab. And then we're gonna fold each side back onto the fly. Then we're gonna get our, uh, our Deer Creek Sculpt. Uh, this has gotta be my favorite resin to use. Stuff, uh, it's tack free, dries super, super hard. I mean, if you want to make some durable flies, this stuff is, uh, stuff is pretty great. It soaks down in the material really well for a thicker resin. Which is kind of why I like using it here. So we're gonna put a little right here on top of the head, just kind of hit it with our light. <coughs> this is just kind of to hold the uh, fly together. So make sure I get a little more on there, just down in this cavity. Perfect. Now you can go ahead, you can cut your uh, cut your thread out. There's gonna be no more tying on this section of the fly. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna invert our fly. And now I'm gonna grab some, uh, some Loon uh, UV White. Uh, and this is what we're gonna make the belly out of. Uh, Deer Creek also makes a, uh, they make the sculpt in white. I just don't have any on me. Um, for most people, it's probably going to be easier for them to get the uh, the loon white. Uh, works just fine. All you're really going to do is just do this loon white on the belly here. So we're going to throw some in this cavity. Just to get it started, kind of pinch the uh, foil together a little. Just to make the belly as wide as we want. And you'll see it's going to start coming together here. You want to fill this entire cavity, so all the way to the back here. Get all this, all this filled with white, uh, white resin. You want to fill up this cavity, you know, about as much as you can. Let it kind of soak down in there. Kind of hold everything together and hit it with your UV light again. You'll notice this is going to make the body super hard. Now you got resin pretty much going throughout the body. I mean, this is this is really what's holding the fly in there and making it just super super durable. Um, we really want to get fancy we can take a little bit of uh, of the UV red and put the UV red here on the front for gills we're not going to do that today if we were tying this in black and purple I would do the belly in a purple color um, all different types of things you can use you can do orange for gills you know whatever uh, kind of whatever floats your boat there so now we're going to invert the fly again and we're just going to clip off these little tabs that we cut earlier we don't need these, so there's one on each side. Just cut those off flush. Now we're going to take our uh, our Deer Creek Sculpt again, and we're going to kind of take this uh, fiber here on the back, kind of stroke it back, and we're just going to go ahead and get some Deer Creek Sculpt on this side. All you want to do is just kind of kind of pull it back. It'll make it. Uh, you know, a little straighter so when you do the uh, the last step you don't have any big bumps or anything so we'll hit it on that side and then we'll hit it on this far side here That's looking pretty good. 
All right. So as you can see, these already come with uh, with eyes on the foils. Um, Deer Creek's done a pretty good job with their newer series. Uh, you can see here with the anchovies, they've put bigger eyes on them now. So you don't have to get your own eyes anymore. Uh, but I, I still like to get these little these little stick on eyes and, and throw them on. I think they uh, they just show up much better. And anytime you can have that you know a bigger eye sticking out on your uh, on your minnow patterns, especially if you're throwing in a school of anchovies or glass minnows or something, um, having something that sticks out you know for a fish to attack is always great. So go ahead and stick an eye on each side. All right. Looks pretty good. Let me just make sure we're all lined up. Now we're going to get some uh, some Loon UV Thick. Uh, the reason we're going Loon UV Thick is because the sculpt can be a little hard to manage. It's, uh, it's not as thick as the Loon. So the Loon really doesn't move around as much. If you're, if you're really good and got a really good rotary vise and... Uh, can move this around fast enough and, and play with it long enough. The sculpt is actually better. It's a lot tougher than the uh, Loon product, in my opinion. Uh, you'll end up with a much durable fly, but for the purposes today, this, uh, this Loon will work. So all we're gonna do, we're just gonna cover this entire body with Loon UV Thick. So we'll just get a little bit on all the fly. You don't need add like monster globs uh, to each section just just enough to just cover kind of cover the fly and then once you rotate it it'll kind of uh, kind of even out for you you can see we're just kind of almost like brushing it on with the uh, with the bottle here just trying to keep that rounded shape And you might miss a spot. I mean, you can always go back once you uh, cure this and, and hit up more spots. But yep. I like to make sure this, this top section looks pretty rounded and straight. And all you got to do is just rotate your vise. I mean, really important with a fly like this, you either have a, uh, a vise that rotates or have a, uh, a drying wheel. I prefer not to use a drying wheel, especially if I'm going to use the uh, Deer Creek Sculpt, because I feel it doesn't it doesn't really move fast enough for me, uh, and sometimes it can cause it to drip, you know, to one side or the other. But for the most part, you know, most uh, vices today have some type of rotary feature to them. So we'll just keep this going slowly here for, you know, 30 seconds or so, and then we'll just come in and we'll hit it with our light. So, doesn't take much to get this to dry. One of the problems I find with the uh, with the loom thick too is it uh, it dries tacky. So then you have to come back and you got to hit it with you know alcohol or you got to hit it with the uh, loom flow to get some of that tackiness off. Using the uh, Deer Creek product, you get no tackiness whatsoever. So. Deer Creek's definitely what I prefer, but you know, just just for sculpting these uh, bodies a little easier, the uh, the loon is definitely easier for sculpting the body. I'll make sure that's good and hard. It should be fine. And like I said, since now that's nice and tacky, you know, I can feel it on my finger kind of sticking. We're just gonna take some uh, loon flow, and that loon flow just brush it on and that's going to take that tack right off get a little on one side I think I need a new bottle of flow flow is probably the best product that loon makes I mean I use the the loon flow for just about everything now so, we'll just get this whole fly kind of the flow going around. The flow is so thin you can't really notice how I mean you can put a ton of flow on here and you'd never notice 
and uh, it can really help fill in some little gaps and imperfections in your fly, make it look a little more rounded out once you uh, once you hit it with the light. So we'll hit it with the light here. Make sure that's good to go. Looks good. Yep. No more tack now. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, you could leave the fly like this. We're going to go ahead and, uh, and just trim the fly off the back. But, I mean, if you like a nice long fly, uh, depending on the bait in your area, you, know, you can leave it long. But I'm going to come off the back here and just kind of kind of give it a nice little tapered trim. You know, give it a trim one way. Try to keep this edge a little even here. Make it look just a little neater, and then I like to come right off the uh, right off the top. Get everything looking pretty in line here. I mean, you can trim this as much as you want. At the end of the day, it's not going to make too much of a difference. Uh, but I like it to where most of the body is going to stay thick and then right at the end it gets uh, a little thin just like a real um, anchovy or sardine or whatever uh, you're trying to make this imitate. But this is the, uh, this is the Deer Creek uh, anchovy candy. Uh, right now this pattern's doing great off our beaches for catching snook. Throw it on dock lights. You know, pretty much anywhere you guys got a big run of uh, like anchovies or small little bait fish patterns, this is great. I'm sure the uh, guys fishing uh, albacore up north uh, would love using, you know, this type of fly. So if you like the fly, uh, you know, give the channel a like, follow, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, it really helps us out and we'll try to uh, post some more videos here uh, shortly. So thanks for watching guys.